So the next one we're going to talk about is flamenco. Not flamingo like the bird, but flamenco with a C in it. Flamenco comes from uh, the Andalusia region of Spain. So it's also a pretty old style of music. And at this point, I'm not really going in the order, the historical order. We're just going to skip around a little bit. But flamenco, the reason I want to do that one next, flamenco is also played on a nylon string guitar. Okay? It's also played with fingers, although the right hand technique is very, very different than classical. Classical is a good place to start if you want to do flamenco, but flamenco is kind of a whole different world. It's a much more advanced, I would say. And the reason you want to use classical guitars for a flamenco, or even a flamenco guitar, your nylon, like I said, nylon strings are not very tight compared to steel strings. And so they're a little bit easier on your fingertips. If you tried to do some of these techniques on a steel string guitar, you'd break your nails or you'd cut your fingers. So this kind of guitar is, is actually really well suited for flamenco playing. And one of the things uh, really kind of defines flamenco is this technique called the golpe. Now golpe is more of a percussion sound than an actual string sound. And it's made by taking typically the ring fingernail and tapping it on the guitar body. Now this is often done with a stroke of the strings. And the way you would do that, it's almost like you would be winding something. It's a, a rotational motion, okay? So I'm taking my index finger here and just doing a downstroke on the strings, okay? At the same time, I'm coming down with my ring finger on the top of the guitar. Now, <laughs> a word of warning. If you want to do this technique, make sure that you either have a plastic pick guard down here or on this particular model, I have a piece of laminate plastic. It's clear, so it doesn't ruin my beautiful finish here. But it'll stop your fingernail from making dents in the urethane on top or the, the varnish on top. So that's the golpe, essentially. And the other technique that you hear a lot of in flamenco is what's called the rasgueado. The rasgueado, I think it means fan. It's the one where you hear kind of a rapid fire strum of the strings. And that technique is actually pretty simple. Just the same way that you would take a finger and tuck it behind your thumb like you were going to flick somebody's ear. That's the motion you want. So you're basically doing that to the string. Now, if you're going to learn this technique, one of the things you want to avoid is getting a finger kind of caught up in the string and having an uneven, delayed stroke through the string. You want, you want the string to pass through everything almost all at once. That's a one finger rasgueado, but the real fun comes in when you add fingers. So if you tuck two fingers in, I'm going to flick this one first and then that one. Or I can tuck three. I can even tuck all four. And then you always want to add the sweeping of the fingers back up to the start position. That's your last stroke. So you could really do five different strokes. One, two, three, four, five with a rasgueado. And depending on the rhythm you want to go for, you might want to use a different amount of fingers. So let's say we're going for a three note triplet, triplet, triplet. I might only use two, plus the sweeping upstroke at the end. One, two, three, one, two, three. Or if you wanted to do 16th notes, which is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I would tuck three and save my fourth one on the reset. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So here's an example of how you could use rasgueado and the golpe together in a flamenco style. Here's another one. If you take your thumb and you're using the back of your thumbnail 
you do an upstroke on the strings. Then you take your tucked fingertips and you brush them all down at the same time. Then you take your thumb and you actually push it down through the string. So it's three separate actions. Up with the thumb, down with the fingers, down with the thumb. And you could actually start on any one of these three. It really doesn't matter. But this is another type of rasgiado called a tresillo. And it tends to be pretty quick when, when you start to play it. So that's something you often hear flamenco players doing. And again, getting that sequence down is really the toughest part. The technique itself is really simple. So flamenco is a little more advanced, but very, very rewarding for all the different techniques that you're going to get out of it if you ever study flamenco.